And there's some breaking news coming in as India's space mission Chandrayaan-2 has been successfully placed in the lunar orbit. According to ISRO, the lunar orbit insertion maneuver was successfully completed at 9 to a.m. Indian Standard Time. Using the onboard propulsion system, the duration of the maneuver was 1738 seconds with the Chandrayaan-2 being successfully inserted into a lunar orbit. Chandrayaan-2 will land in the south polar region of the moon on September 7th. This is the big breaking story this hour as India's space mission Chandrayaan-2 has been successfully placed in the lunar orbit. Let's quickly go across to our correspondent Nishita Virendra who is joining us from Bengaluru on the phone line. Nishita, this is indeed a big milestone, a milestone by as far as India's moonshot is concerned. Please explain the complexity of this entire process. In fact, this is one of the top two orbit maneuvers of this entire mission and uh, it was something that uh, ISRO scientists had been watching out for. It was supposed to happen today between 8.30 and 9.30 a.m. And at 9.02, they have successfully managed to fire the liquid engine of uh, uh, Chandrayaan-2 and it has been successfully placed in the lunar orbit. Before this, there were five crucial orbit maneuvers that had taken place, but none as crucial as this because here it's shifting from Earth's orbit uh, onto uh, the lunar orbit. And uh, from now on, it will have at least four more maneuvers along the lunar orbit before finally making the landing in uh, uh, the side of the moon, the dark side of the moon, as it is being called, the unexplored side of the moon. Uh, but yes, as you rightly mentioned, apart from the soft landing that is attempted for the very first time uh, in India's lunar mission uh, uh, using the Vikram lander on the 7th of September, apart from that, today's uh, uh, maneuver uh, was the most tricky, was the most uh, 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 was uh, pivotal uh, to the entire mission to be successful. Right, and Nishita, as you rightly mentioned, uh, the Vikram lander will be landing on the moon's surface on the 7th of September. How crucial is the time period from now on till the 7th? Well, there will be uh, at least four uh, uh, maneuvers that will uh, shift the, uh, uh, the Chandrayaan-2 mission itself closer uh, to the uh, moon's surface. The final orbit that it will reach will be about 100 kilometers from uh, uh, the pole of uh, uh, the surface. So it is expected to reach the south pole on the 7th of September and uh, uh, from about 100 uh, kilometer distance from the surface of the moon it is expected to make a soft landing. Uh, so yes, on the 7th of September we will see the entire nation probably biting its nails and uh, watching what will happen to the Chandrayaan-2 mission. Uh, and uh, as it has been repeatedly pointed out before, the uh, the most crucial element of the Chandrayaan-2 mission is that they cannot afford even a single tiny mistake. Uh, even a small change in calculation can ensure that uh, Chandrayaan-2 completely misses out on the moon. Uh, it had been blasted off on the 22nd of July at a speed of 39,240 kilometers per hour. It is an entire project that has cost about 1,000 uh, crores to the government. Uh, and uh, which is why the ISRO had even uh, delayed the project by about a week uh, in July. Uh, so now that the most tricky maneuver of the entire mission has been performed, they are fairly confident. It gives them uh, a little over a month's time now uh, for them to finally make the landing on the 7th of September uh, on the southern surface of the moon. But before that, there will be some maneuvers along the lunar orbit but those will be not as tricky as what was done today and what will be done on the soft landing day, which is the 7th of September. Right. Also, uh, Nishita, important to go back to some basics. How is India's second lunar expedition extremely important, not only for the ISRO or India, but for India in terms of space race? Right. Uh, so far, uh, although ISRO has had many achievements, ISRO has... Uh, carried load of not just Indian satellites but also satellites from around the globe. Uh, it has basically largely performed a uh, transporter's role uh, to uh, different parts of the space. But uh, with Chandrayaan 2, uh, ISRO is trying to uh, uh, place a foothold where it is saying that we can not only go to the uh, orbit of the moon, we can not only revolve around the moon like it happened in Chandrayaan 1, right. but we can also attempt a soft landing. Uh, we can also attempt a soft landing on the unexplored part of the moon. So a lot of factors that come into play here, but India is trying to establish 
uh, ISRO as a premier space research organization on the global level. And this is not just as a transporter, but as an explorer, as an innovator, as someone that can take challenges and can attempt what other countries have not been able to do. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nishita, for bringing us all those details. Yet another feather in the cap of ISRO. Another big milestone achieved, but yet we await September 7th when the final landing of the Vikram lander will take place on the south pole of the moon. We will keep tracking all the latest for now. ISRO has announced that the lunar orbit insertion has finally taken place. And this will follow another four maneuvers in the days to come till September 7th.